What's up, Longhands? It's your boy El Moreno here in Casa de Moreno, where just a couple years ago, we were running our business out of this garage. Now we have our global headquarters just a few miles down the road. But today, I'm bringing you a little tutorial on how to clean your hat. Yes, one of the best tools that you have powering through the awkward stage is the hat. Or just to sheath your flowing mane. You know you have your go-tos in your collection, the ones you wear regularly. It's probably three or four hats. Now those ones are taking the most abuse. Sweat, stains, food, whatever, who knows what. Dirt, dust, it got everything on there. How do you clean them? Have you cleaned them? They probably stink a little bit. I know mine do. The one I'm wearing right now, look at this sweat mark. You can see it right there. See that sweat mark? Yeah. I've had this hat for like three years, never cleaned it once. So you're just gonna sit around with a cap and your own filth on your head? Who knows what that's doing to your hair, man? We gotta clean these hats. That's right, we gotta clean these hats. And today, I'm gonna show you how. So first up, you gotta have a cleaning station. You can use your kitchen, a countertop, somewhere where a sink's available, or you can have a folding table with a bucket. That's what I'm doing. Here's all the tools that you're gonna need. First off, I got a nice bucket here. I'm gonna be able to fit about four hats in there, wash four at a time. That's pretty much what my go-to hats are, about four hats. Then you're gonna need some cleaner. I'm often to go with OxyClean as well, as the Epic Cleanse. Yes, you could use the Epic Cleanse on your hat to clean your stains. Next, a soft bristle toothbrush. Lastly, some hand towels. Bring the hats into the station for a little closer examination. Now what we're looking for here is some big gnarly stains. So what we can see here, a lot of this is sweat. This is gonna come out during the soaking process. But we can see there's a little bit of a brown mark right here. And what we're gonna wanna do is put a little bit of our cleaner on there and work it in with the toothbrush to allow for that to kind of soak in a little bit. Now, that's kind of a lot, but it's good. We're gonna use it all in that area. It's a wool blended hat, so it could take a little bit more abuse than that red one over there, which is full wool, but we're gonna be real gentle when we're doing this. What happens if you're really aggressive and applying a lot of pressure onto the wool? It could actually mess up some of the consistency of the look of the wool, so you wanna be gentle. All right, that's nice, that's in there. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. We're gonna move on to our next hat. All right, obviously, this one has got some serious stains. Looks like we got a little food. This is hot sauce, I think. Yep, when you got kids, you never know how this stuff happens, but it does. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here. I still got some material left on my toothbrush, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rub this in. I'm gonna throw a little bit more on there. Man, it's smelling good, too. The epic cleanse. Look at this, multi-purpose on the shampoo, people. We are rubbing this in, doing our spot checks here. Just getting that to really soak in there. Oh yeah. Okay, you can see some of it's coming up on the toothbrush, so that's good. And we're getting that in, nice soft touch. Okay, now let's let that sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, those are sitting. Let the cleaner do its thing. Let it get in there real good. Work those stains out. In the meantime, let's fill up the bucket. Let's get everything ready to soak the hat. We're filling the bucket up with lukewarm water here. We don't want to risk the hat shrinking at all. So you don't want to use too hot a water, too warm a water. Or then you're going to risk, you know, your hat really kind of maybe morphing a little bit. So just lukewarm should do the job. And just fill that baby up, man. So I got my OxyClean here again. Going to just scoop in a little bit here. Okay, you don't need a full scoop. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff, especially since we're only doing four hats. Now, important point on the detergent of your choice, just make sure there's zero bleach or you're gonna ruin your hat. I'll fill up about a quarter of the bottom of that. Boom, push that in there, dump it in, I mean. Gonna hit this second side as well. There we go. All right, now. The hats are in for soaking. So get this baby in there, make sure both sides are good. So here you want to do a little hand rub. Make sure that that detergent's really working through the water and getting, you know, all through the hat. And you can actually feel it. You can feel it. It's a little bit slimy. You know, it's got a certain feel to it. So there we go. One down, second one in. All right, now we're gonna let them soak. 
Okay, so they've been soaking now for about 30 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is come in and just check the progress, how things looking, especially this one that had the stains. I mean, look at that. They're pretty much, they're kind of getting out of there. Now what you could do is bring the toothbrush back in at this point, right around that 30 minute mark and check it out. If you're still seeing some stains, give it a rub. Look at that, the detergent working. It's a mix of that detergent and that Epic Cleanse still in there doing its job. Just needs a little more assistance from the toothbrush. So we're gonna hit these up. Anywhere I'm still kind of seeing the stain, I'm gonna go ahead and work that toothbrush real nice. Now here's our sweat stain. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. You can't even see a stain anymore. Oh yeah, that is nice. I'm gonna give it about 10 more minutes, so probably do about 40 minutes total here. We did have some gnarly stains. Give it a few more minutes and uh, we'll get these things ready to dry. But now what we wanna do is rinse them out with cold water. Now, my hose busted a couple days ago, so I'm just gonna use the uh, spigot on the side of the house. But you do want a little bit of pressure here to really get all the soap out that it's been soaking in. So, uh, you know, you could use, if your sink is in your kitchen is powerful enough, great. But if you need to go outside, use a hose or something, that'd be fine too. It'll just make it a little quicker to get all the soap out if you have a little pressure. So you'll feel when the detergent is out. Like I said earlier, you can kind of feel a little slippery, a little sliminess. You'll know it's all out when you do not feel that anymore. So I'll just do that with each hat. So the heavy cleaning is done. Now the drying process. This is where our towels come in. Now what we want to do here is pat these dry. Just kind of want to squeeze, really focus on taking the real heavy water out of the hat, okay? You're not going to get the full drying done right here. Well, I guess it kind of depends what your hat's made of. Like this one is, is almost like drying already, but it's because of the material it is. But these wool ones, these ones are going to need some time. They're really air dry. And that's what we're going to do. After we pat them dry, get all the heavy water out, then we're going to let them sit and air dry. You can really see how wet that bill is. There's a lot of water in there. So this is where the pat, patting dry really comes in. You're just grabbing that bill and you're just squeezing it with all your might. Really focus on everywhere around, even on the inside. And we're looking good, man. I'm already really stoked with uh, the outcome I'm seeing here. Now this was our big test, the hot sauce stains. Look at that, man! Woo! Woo, boy! <laughs> so here's the reason for several hand towels. So I'm gonna take my hand towel and put it into a ball or a sphere, if you will. I'm gonna put it in here, kind of give it a couple more dabs, get any other water out of there. Now what this is gonna do is help keep the shape of the hat while it air dries. Now, if you don't have a towel like this, you can use a mannequin. I actually do have a mannequin. I'm gonna put one of the hats on. Or you could use a box or anything that's gonna help maintain the shape of the hat. Now I have all the hats with the towels inside of them, maintaining their shape, air drying outside. Now I'm not working with much sun, as you can see, but I'm still gonna leave them out here until it's dark. And, I mean, they're getting dry. They're already getting dry. But I think it's gonna take through the night before they're fully dry. So I'm gonna let these sit out here for maybe another hour, then I'm gonna move them into the garage, let them sit overnight, check on them in the morning when they're fully dry. We'll see if we got all the stains out, how good the clean worked. I have a really good feeling. It's money. All right, well here we are. The results are in and I am very pleased. Nice and dry, nice and clean. I mean, look at that. Can't even see any stains there. All the sweat stains are gone, even under the brim. I mean, we are just fired up, man. How about that one? Look at that. Remember, it had all those sweat stains all through there. Just looking ultra clean, ultra fresh. You just can't beat it. All right, guys, the process works. All of them are dry, all of them look great. Still need to give this one a little bit uh, time. This is slight dampness, but probably a couple hours left will be good. But the other three are uh, completely dry, completely clean, ready to rock. All right, quick note on the drying. 
Air drying is definitely gonna be your best bet. Uh, how I had them originally sit on the truck with the sun probably would have been the most ideal But that sun was down quick had to leave them here in the garage had several hours worked out great everything good If you're in a pinch though, and you're really looking to get your hat dryer quick I would recommend using a blow dryer and it'd Probably take 20 25 minutes maybe even less depending on how powerful your blow dryer is one thing you do not want to do Do not put it in the clothes dryer Okay, that tumbling everything around, it's gonna mess up the shape of the hat, the bill, could even shrink it. So just stay away from the clothes dryer with your hat. Lastly, pretty pumped on how Epic Cleanse worked with it. Now some of you might think like, dude, that was weird, you put shampoo on the hat. Think about how much milder this is than a detergent. And you know, you're talking about a 35, 45, 50 dollar hat. You know, you wanna try something on it that's gonna be Nice, subtle, not just damage it right off the bat. And that's why I thought giving this a try. And I'm really pleased with the results, really worked well. So give it a go, man. You can get Epic Cleanse and all our hard lids at thelonghairs.us. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, man, come on, subscribe. We're always putting out that hot, fresh stuff. Just like these hats are now so fresh and so clean. All right, guys, till the next time, El Marino here with the long hairs out. See ya!